then you will see these some channels. Also, if you see the side of the truck bodies, they use this channel for you know reinforcing the bodies. This is the wires we make. This is the, the, the very uh, thin, 4.5 millimeter, 6 millimeter. And these are the list of awards that we have uh, received until uh, 2015. So we are really you know proud uh, of our achievements, and uh, it gives us pleasure you know when uh, when we are recognized for the work we do. Uh, so for example, we got the JBCCI Business Excellence Award. We also got the highest taxpayer award uh, for 2015. Uh, then there's the Institute of Chartered Secretaries of Bangladesh. We got a corporate governance uh, award from them. Then, uh, then there's the Bank Bang uh, award. And then we every year we also end up getting the best steel brand award from, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, the program is jointly uh, done by the brand, uh, Bangladesh uh, Brand Forum and uh, AC Nielsen. Uh, which is a research organization. In 2014, we were very proud, to, uh, especially to receive the CSR award of the country, which is organized by Standard Chartered Bank and the Financial Express. So ourselves and uh, Grameen Fund, we jointly got the top award for our uh, CSR activities all over the country. We also are very careful about the environment that we work in and uh, we invest in a lot of uh, you know, technology to make sure that we keep the environment clean. Uh, all our uh, uh, water that we discharge is clean water, we, all the air that we discharge is uh, clean air, so, we, so the environment is not affected. And we got the environment award for investing in these kind of technologies. In our new plants, and also we are converting our old plants. Also, even the toilet waste uh, or the sewage that is also we treat it and then discharge the water into the uh, drains. So there are uh, methods how to measure the contamination in the water, and we test the water on a regular basis to make sure that it is environment clean. And because two of our companies are also publicly listed, so we have to publish uh, annual accounts. And we also got award, you know, for uh, the uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of Bangladesh for the best published accounts in the manufacturing category. And then they also forward that to the South Asian Federation of Accountants. And you know, we were proud of getting the award at, uh, at that level for our annual accounts. And this is the most one of the recent, the biggest award that we have gotten, uh, which is the President Award, handed over by the President himself for the large uh, industry. And uh, this has been really a proud moment for us because, uh, you know, for uh, to, uh, to get this award in the last scale category, there are of course very, uh, a lot of variables that uh, uh, were taken into account and we felt really proud to get this. Summary of our group information. Uh, our revenue is about uh, 3,500 crore or about 450 million dollars a year. And uh, uh, this is our 2000, 2015 information. And uh, our net profit was uh, 182 crores, which is about 23 million dollars. Uh, our market capitalization is very big because. We our our share prices in the stock market are you know, generally are doing well. So our market capitalization for the two companies which are listed, uh, the stock exchange is about eight hundred and seventy nine billion dollars. So um, and it's about six thousand eight hundred crores. We are a very ethical company. We uh, we pay all our electricity bills, gas bills, VAT, tax, everything uh, properly. So we contribute a lot the national exchequer to the tune of about 530 crores every year. We have about 2,380 uh, employees and growing because we are still are in, uh, in the growth mode. We have about uh, 679 dealers 
all over the country. So this is part of our sales and logistics network. We have seven plants, uh, uh, production plants. We have 10 warehouses. And uh, we have our rolling mill capacity now about 1.15 billion tons a year. So this is just uh, a few snapshots of our uh, factory. This is our rolling mill uh, where we produce the depopper. This is our another rolling mill. We have two rolling mills. So this is our another rolling mill where we also produce depoppers, angles as well as channels. Then this is uh, one of our billet plants. Now we have three billet plants. This is one of them where we produce the billets. This is also our uh, billet plant. Uh, this is our first billet plant. And this is our uh, Mishurai project, where we, uh, which is, as I said, uh, which is a very large uh, uh, billet making plant. And uh, it is uh, about 70 kilometers from here, and it is in about an area, it is uh, in about 55 acres of land, uh, we are producing the billets. This is our uh, wires division. So we produce wires as well as the green bars that you see. Those are uh, just uh, three months ago we started uh, the production of this. Uh, we have done the trial. This is the epoxy coated bar which we have introduced first time in Atlanta. Coming to the how we are organized, you know, from uh, you know when you are studying. Uh, uh, in right now you in your HR course or any other course you must have seen corporate structure how companies are organized because you know when we have the vision and values we also need a certain structure some rules regulations for the corporate to operate at the end of the day uh, a company is like an individual it's an institution but it is like an individual. So uh, it has to be nurtured. It has to have some sort of, uh, you know, uh, rules and regulations and boundaries and what is possible to do or not possible to do. So the structure is a very basic uh, thing in an organization. There are different types of structures. Of, uh, maybe you have uh, studied in your HR courses. So we are a combination of a functional structure and a matrix structure. The top level is fun, uh, you know, very functional and as we go to the bottom it's uh, matrix. So the bottom part is not really shown and this is really the top level uh, uh, structure we have. So we have of course the chairman and the group MD, uh, the chairman is my father. And then here we have different teams uh, who manage the businesses. One is the finance team, then we have uh, a dedicated project management team throughout the organization. So, uh, an organization is not a static uh, institution. It's a very, very dynamic institution. Something or the other, especially in a country like ours, where, where there is growth, so all the companies are also growing. So with that growth, we need, we, we always have something going on in some of a plant or some office or you know, some development has to be done. So we have a dedicated project management team who plans all this and executes all that. So, they can, uh, so there's a uh, uh, so head of technical project and we also did uh, ERP in our organization. So if uh, any of you are you know, uh, studying uh, an MIS course, I don't know if there's an MIS course uh, so uh, if you are either doing that, if you want some experience, you should come visit our office and just see the ERP. We have gone with the Oracle ERP. So uh, it has been, it, it is by itself a journey. So you know, you can talk for an hour only on ERP. So I will not go into too much detail, but this is, this, this experience has been unique for all uh, the whole organization because this has enabled us be able to you know get real information, right data, and uh, be able to manage our operations in a much better way. Then we have a head of operations. 
under him uh, are all the plant heads, all the plants report to the head of operations. This is how we control our uh, you know, operation side. Then we have uh, uh, any major project that we do. Uh, for that we have an uh, executive director who has uh, his own team to manage the whole uh, project independently so that the rest of the team are not open. Then we have of course the uh, HR uh, team and uh, we have uh, the uh, supply chain management team. This is also one of our biggest teams because you know the kind of business that we are in, our, uh, you know, a lot of effort goes behind logistics procurement because also we have a big volume now so we have to handle with uh, much much larger team uh, the, uh, the whole operation and then uh, we have of course the administration the security and we are also one of very very few companies in Bangladesh who actually have a head of CSR so we have a CSR team uh, which uh, through which we manage all our uh, CSR projects And then as, we, as I was telling you earlier, you know, when we were growing, so we have, you know, uh, we feel that you know, some of the strengths that we have which have made us grow, uh, you know, the first and foremost is you know, the ethical standards that we have. In, and from our experience, we have seen, you know, uh, a lot of, you can read also maybe on the internet or, uh, you know, some uh, paper you probably will find on the internet. Most companies do not last uh, more than a generation or goes until the second generation and then phases out. And, uh, and we have seen that you know maintaining good ethical standards, of course there are many other things that to make the business sustainable, but maintaining good ethical standards gives one a lot of satisfaction, a lot of comfort and a lot of focus on the business itself. Because we are not focused on, uh, you know, uh, uh, stealing somewhere, you know, we are doing some sort of evasion. We are really focused on our business. And we believe steel is our core competence. So we, we focus on our core competence. And uh, we keep nurturing that. And then, uh, you know, and uh, because we maintain ethics, so we get a lot of uh, respect from the government. We get a lot of respect from our customers because everybody knows that we are an ethical company and we will never cheat on the quality of the material. We will never cheat on the weight that we supply uh, to our customers. So this reputation has been built over many, many years. You know, my grandfather used to tell me, and it is so rightly so, that when you know you take generations build reputation and it, and it can take two minutes to finish it. So value of this reputation of ethics is, is flawed and I would recommend you, you know, whatever you are doing in life, you are currently a student and you are going to your professional life, maintain good ethical standards because that will really take you forward. In we are very, very efficient in uh, operation and uh, we focus on how we reduce our cost continuously and uh, so and uh, uh, you uh, you know we focus on the efficiency because that is what drives our business we are so capital intensive our industry is extremely capital intensive being capital intensive, you must have seen on, you know, when you do the, any uh, SWOT analysis or, you know, the barriers and uh, to entry and exit and all. So, being capital intensive, the barrier to entry is high. But, to sustain that business is very difficult. We always have to keep, keep, keep working, keep focusing on how we can keep reducing our cost. The day we stop, Thinking about it, that is the day we start declining. So, uh, uh, so uh, efficient in operation is also is a, is a big strength for us. Then uh, marketing is our strength. When we started our uh, uh, large rolling mill in 2008, we we ourselves had to change. 
you know, it has been a uh, good journey also and a learning which I can share with you all is with time one has to change. If you don't change at the right time, you will be left there. And uh, in 2008 when we started the, the new rolling mill, we had a big, big volume to sell. So there was no option but for us to go into marketing. And uh, when we went into marketing, we did, uh, you must have seen at that time, we did a lot of advertisement, we still now do, we have continued that trend. And uh, we have created a brand. Earlier, people in Chittagong used to know BSRM a lot, very well, because we have been here so many years. But general people had no idea. Of course, all general people are not our customers either. But a lot of people who used to uh, you know, do the, like, small construction work, or making a small factory or even a building, they did not know us that well, one. Second, at that time they did not really care about quality that much. So through our advertisements and through our marketing activity, not only advertisement but also on the ground uh, activity, we created a lot of buzz, a lot of awareness and even today we feel proud of what uh, you know, the marketing that we have done and, and we have always believed, as I said, ethics, we have done ethical marketing. We have never ever uh, misled anybody. We believe we have just uh, provided knowledge to all the people in Bangladesh what is standard and what is quality. We are a big logistics operation. You know, sometimes when, you know, we are just thinking internally, we feel that instead of a manufacturing company, we are really a logistics company. We are a supply chain company from taking the order to the customer to delivering the material to a customer. A lot of logistics operation goes on. We are, we are a very large importer into the country because we have to import the raw materials to make the steel and because of our volume it is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. So managing all the logistics from uh, you know, say if we are bringing some scrap from the US it is uh, you know, loading the scrap on the ship in the US, the ship coming to Chittagong, handling Chittagong port. Unfortunately, the, you know, the port facilities are not so good. So we have to still you know, manage through the port whatever the facilities are. We have to unload the material, then trucking all the material to our plant site, storing, producing, and then again so much material being delivered to the customer. So, you know, if we are delivering about, say, uh, say 4,000 tons, that means we are about every day from our factory 